All right, everybody, welcome back to the office. So today it is Sunday. It's a nice early day. I got up early, got to jump on things, which is uh, the best way to do it. But uh, for the cue of the day, um, it's not really a cue uh, per se, but it's it comes from us um, in the comments section from yesterday's video where we talked about the founder, the, sh the master chef, I guess they call him, who uh, created Sushi Swap, did what would be considered an exit scam. And uh, that was the video we talked about yesterday. Go check that out. Uh, it's a little disturbing, uh, but uh, hey, what are you going to do? You know, this is this is the 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 sandbox that we are in. And uh, uh, just take, just watch the video. That's all I'll say. But the comment that comes up today, uh, it was from Corey Bray, and it was a pretty good comment. He says, "So he says the market is taping taking a dive." You say, "Oh, you mean all my favorite cryptos are being discounted so I can grab tons of them for cheaper?" Uh, you would have to be a complete idiot not to take advantage of this grand opportunity. Bullish is all the way to the moon, baby. Which I have to uh, admit, I am an idiot a lot of times. Let's let's uh, just be honest. Uh, ask my wife; she'll tell you. But uh, one of these things about is like you know, should I buy or should I not buy? And all I can say is I'm just going to tell you exactly what I did yesterday. And what I did yesterday was. I, we all know that on this channel, I always preach about dollar cost averaging, Me meaning don't, you know, take your $5,000 that you have from whatever, how, wherever you got it from, right? Let's say you were saving it up and you just go in there and go, you know what? I think uh, polka dot would be a great one. Let me just put 5,000 bucks into polka dot today and I'm sure it'll work itself out. Well, if you had done that last week, polka dot was somewhere around 620, 640, somewhere around there. And then a couple of days ago, it was like around four bucks. So Actually, yesterday it was on four dollars. So the thing I'm always talking about is dollar cost averaging. Now, yes, what I usually do is I, I they're all automatic. They, I I set them up on either uh, Voyager or Gemini because they have an automated dollar cost averaging tool. I can put twenty five bucks into Cardano. I can put a hundred bucks into Ethereum, and I can set it up as either uh, once a day, every three days, every week, every two weeks, every month, or whatever I want to do. So I don't have to pull the trigger every time, which is good for me because I got this stuff to do, right? Uh, if you're looking for an alternative to Coinbase, uh, check out my spreadsheet, which talks about all the different things that I use as far as wallets and exchanges, where I talk about Celsius and Voyager being my one-two punch. And you can get the you use the links in there. You don't have to use my links. You can go right to, to Voyager or Kraken or wherever else. But if you use the links, you get like between 10 and 25 bucks just for signing up if you need that. So that is that, that is one side about dollar cost averaging. But yesterday, when I took a step back and I looked at what was going on, see, I learned this from my mistake in March. Remember when March happened and everything just went you know down? I bought very little things because I was like, first of all, it was one of those really scary times, honestly. But you look at you like, is this going to go back up? Is this going to go back up in like a couple weeks, uh, a couple of years? Is this, you know, even me who, who I'm actually in this space, I tend to start to doubt until I have to like just sit back and go, okay, this is why the technology is here. This is what's going to happen. I remember the history. I have to actually go through it each and every time. So yesterday was a little bit easier because I'm like, you know what? I said to myself, Rob, you screwed up last time in March. You know you should have bought more and you didn't. And this is the time to buy. So what did I do? I bought not a mass amount, but I bought more Bitcoin. I bought more Ethereum. I bought more Cardano. I bought more Chainlink. I bought more Polkadot. And I went outside of my regular dollar cost average because the prices were here. And then all of a sudden they came down here. So what I am thinking is that there's only so low it can go, right? I mean, we don't know where what, what could happen. Tomorrow it can go straight up or in another 24 hours it can go all the way down to the floor because I believe that there is a bubble and it is called DeFi and it is bursting and we see a lot of different problems and that's what's happening with Ethereum and all the different things like Sushi, like Yearn, uh, Aave or Ave, however you want to say it. So will we go back up? I don't know, but I know yesterday was a great deal and... I had to take it and I had to take it and I learned from what I didn't do in March to what I should have done back then to what I did yesterday. So that's where we're at. And uh, I'm not telling you to do these things. I'm just telling you this is what uh, I felt uh, I should do and this is what worked out for me. And also, um, if you think about it, if you had bought at a higher price uh, beforehand, you felt kind of stuck, you're like, shoot, I kind of FOMO'd in on that one. I shouldn't have done it. 
Um, what you can do is you can buy it at a lower price. And now your average cost is in the middle. So like, let's say you bought polka dot and you dumped in, you know, a bunch of money at six bucks. Well, yesterday it was around 450. If you would have bought a 450, 450 to six is like somewhere like 525. So that's your average cost that you did. And then you can sell it if you want to. Uh, and you don't have to wait till it hits six, seven, eight, nine, nine dollars. You can actually go at 525 and sell it. And you won't feel that pressure. The big thing is not feeling the pressure so you can actually get things done and uh, move forward. So uh, that is my thing today. I'm not telling you what to do, not financial advice, but I'm just telling you what I did uh, from the lessons I learned from March. All right, so that is it. And I would just say, make mention of this. In the bottom right hand corner, there's a join now button. Um, you don't get anything special if you join up for uh, digital asset news, but uh, what I do is I do give random shout outs. So uh, just to sign up, it's a buck ninety nine. It's like a tip, but I just do random shout outs. So hype me up, Lee Stone Brackets, Regina Halasinski. I nailed it. I nailed that name. Jesse Kirkland. Who else we got? David Worm, Big Worm, Crypto Swords, and Amuse Web Design. All right. So for everybody who signed up, I really appreciate it. Also, I want to give another special thanks. I almost forgot. Uh, we hit seventy five thousand subscribers. I don't know how we did that, but uh, I'm pretty happy that it happened. So thanks everybody. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's it. If you'd like uh, these types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. Uh, so check those out. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks. See you on the next one.